welcome in my friends so as I promised you I make a video about why I built my van the opposite way compare other van lifers or van builds uh, that normally they have day bed on the back doors because of the garage underneath which is logical and I made the opposite way I have my bed in the front back my front seat and the rest of the stuff is on the back door so the reasons are different kinds the first one is my van has a little bit a uh, special shape in the front he is a little bit wider than on the back so on the back if I want to do a bed on the this way as you can see this is exactly 173 centimeters and I am tall 170 so I really fit exactly in this bed and on the back doors I, I don't have this measure so I could never ever do a bed like this I had to do a double bed which is too much for this van and this is a single bed the second reason uh, why I wanted the bed on the back of my seat is because I'm faster to go on the front and go away if I need to and also another reason is if I'm parked somewhere and you never know someone hits your car from the back uh, yeah it will be a problem and in the front that is not uh, so dangerous because I have my seats on the front so I'm protected about that if I sleep and uh, on the back I mean on the side it's really difficult that someone hits you on the side when you are parked somewhere but you never know <laughs> anyways this is uh, the second reason and the third reason is about the space um, because I have really a small space so I have really to figure it out how I fit in this van that I can move around here uh, when I cook uh, when I want to read something or I have to do something on the computer yeah it's it was for different kind of reasons that I thought this is the best way to make my van as you can see here on my back doors uh, it is smaller you can see it which this side here is much wider and as you can see I have a plenty of space here here I have my kitchen so after the bed I just put my sink here and all the stuff I need to to cook or wash my dishes all my all my plates here and yeah I have plenty of space here to uh, put all my stuff on this side here I have my toilet as you know near my um, bed and then all other stuff that I need when I'm in the bed um, the TV remote and the papers and I have also my wood stove and the water and everything that I need so uh, it is really um, this space is really good this is why I um, chose uh, this kind of build and you know I um, was thinking well but maybe I can change the way I build it and I can do something else but I realized that I have no other option I don't have no I tried to design some other builds in my van but it don't fit like it is perfect like that so I take the chance to thank you all the subscriber 
and all who watch my video i was surprised how many people su subscribe even if it's only a little bit over 300 for me it's so uh yeah makes me very happy uh, maybe compared to others it's nothing but yeah uh, i'm satisfied the only thing that i don't understand is the algorithm of youtube <laughs> maybe someone can explain me because sometimes i make video about simple stuff like yeah what i'm doing in my van or what i change in my van and i have two three thousand people who watch this video then i make a video about adventure where i show you where i was in the campsite in nature and adventure with dylan and there is nothing i mean just 50 or 80 people who watch this video i don't understand why uh this nice and beautiful video i think they are nice and beautiful video because you see the area where i am beautiful nature the um there is not such an interest on the internet i was searching a little bit to see why is that it's not because i want more people that watch my video because it, it's not this it's it's uh it's interesting to know how they put out your video you know and i realized uh reading some stuff that the algorithm they put some video your video out then people if they interact with you video in in five hours you have a lot of people who watching your video or interact with you or say like or they they write something to your video then this video goes forward to another algorithm i think so it's like that and if there is also a success they the video will succeed to another group of video they put out i think it's it's something like that so i realized <coughs> i observed that if i put a video out uh i mean i download the video and i saw that if this video in in a couple of hours i have a lot of people who watch my video then i saw that the video has uh some of success and uh, goes to 2000 3000 views if it's not the case if i have just 10 or 12 people looking my video in this uh certain hours the video will be stay still and i see that there is no other many people who watches my video it's really really interesting to see that i don't know um if i do something wrong also it can be that i, I don't i do something wrong when i download the video and then i don't know <laughs> maybe you you know it better than me maybe i'm too old for this stuff <laughs> <laughs> but I you know I enjoy to do video because also uh, for my memories you know I told you that uh, because I when I started this this channel I had I guess two or three subscribers and but that, uh, it wasn't a problem for me because I want to do my videos to have like an album of my memories where I go and uh, yeah and I go back sometimes and look my own video about where I was and it was beautiful or if I don't remember exactly the campsite we have still 28 degrees on he in, uh, in here and it's really weird for uh, in the middle of September to have this uh, temperature but I guess tomorrow they say the rain will come and then the temperature will drop to 20, 21 degrees. You know, sometimes um, I wish I could take my van 
live inside here and go away. I have, um, I don't know about you, but I have a face. Can I see it? Face? Oh, or no, not face. Um, I have a moment in my life where I wish to have a change. Mm, I don't enjoy life at the moment. Then I tell to myself, um, I mean, you are lucky, you live here, you have everything. And other people who has lost their houses and their family and what happened in the whole world. I realized, yeah, it is a problem out there. I don't know why I'm feeling like that. Like that. It's not some. It's not that I'm not satisfied. I'm really grateful what I have and where I live. Everything of my life, I'm grateful. But I don't know. I feel some kind of sad. But I don't know exactly why. I wish to to have a big change in some way, I don't know. And I I wish I could live in my van and go somewhere else. I don't know why is that. <laughs> it's been a strange period of time. I don't know how about you, how you feel. But I feel like that. I feel also very tired in the last week. Even if I go to bed early, I don't know. I feel I'm feel tired. I feel sad, down. I don't know why. It's really, really strange. I'm sorry that the video is not that long I just want to tell you those things and uh, of course me and Dylan plan for another adventure somewhere else nearby here we will see and of course I will take you with me so thank you again all subscriber all uh, who watch my video i hope you have a good life stay strong out there and try your best to live happy as much as you can